Today we're talking Sniper Laser Aligners version 2.0. Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Thanks to all you guys that have been tuning in over the last couple of weeks. The videos have been going crazy, it's been awesome. Last week's video, the Snipe Bar version 1.0, we had a lot of questions about a couple of things that we might have brushed over a little bit too quickly. So I'm gonna to try to address those here today. If you're liking the videos, please give us a huge thumbs up. It really means a lot. Turn on those pesky notifications, hit the subscribe button, smash it if you want, totally destroy it. I don't care, just do it, do it now. So one of the questions we had was about switching the snipers on and off. Now, when you switch the sniper on, it's clockwise, a bit of light pressure. There's a uh, battery in here, and to complete the circuit, you just turn the sniper clockwise lightly until it switches on. Now when you switch it off, a full 180 degrees, and then what I like to do is to double check with my finger to make sure the battery is not turning the laser on by accident when you put it back in the box. If you only just switch it off, when you put a bit of pressure on the battery, you can actually bump the battery back on. So give it a full 180 degrees to switch them off. One of the questions we got last week was talking about positive negative camber and when to use them. Okay, so for the guys that didn't know, the reference lines here for zero camber is right here. And the reference line for zero, toe in, toe out, is this line here. So anything forwards of this line is toe out, and anything to the back of it is the toe in. And then this is our camber reference line. Anything below the reference line is negative camber, and anything above the reference line is positive camber. I would say 90% of the time we run on this line here for toe out, and occasionally, if we're at a very fast flowing track, we will go back somewhere between here and the reference line. It's very rare, at, if at all, that we run negative, uh, sorry, if we ever run toe in. So try that at your local track. If it works for you, excellent. Otherwise, if you don't know any different, you can set your go-kart up here on the first line with toe out and run between toe out and neutral. Another question we had is in regards to positive and negative camber and when we're gonna be using it. So at our local track, we would run negative camber if the cart is too direct on the way into a corner. So from the end of the brake zone to the apex in the, in the first part of the corner, in the first half of the corner. Now, if we had problems where it was turning too sharply, we'd have a tendency to run a little bit of negative camber and that's traditionally with brand new tires. As the weekend progresses and the tires start to wear, you'll notice that the inside edge is starting to sort of overheat and degrade ever so slightly and we start to move back into the positive camber. This is a sensible range for a normal go-kart weekend for us. We start here maybe up to two lines of negative camber and we might finish the final with two lines of positive camber. All the recommendations we're giving you are things that we do that work for us at our local track here in Southeast Queensland where predominantly the weather is quite warm and sunny and our local tracks are quite grippy. Now, if you live in a colder climate, your camber and toe changes are gonna be a little bit different, but just go to the track and practice with these first. And if it works, great. And if the opposite works, great. That's great too, because at least you've gone and tried it. I can't guarantee this is gonna work for you, but if you're learning, start there and it's gonna get you pretty close. So another question we had is in regards to the level of the lasers. So the sequence goes, install the sniper under your stub axle, then zero the bubble of the laser between the lines. Then with both snipers spirit level bubbles between the lines, you can rotate the steering until you have even toe out across the go-kart. Then re-zero the spirit level on your laser. Now you're ready to perform the sweep angle check and your toe adjustment with the tie rods. Now we did get a couple inquiries about the level of the cart. So to demonstrate, we're just gonna use this block of timber. So then we're gonna move the cart onto a bit of an angle. We're gonna re-zero the bubbles on the spirit level of the snipers. And then we can recheck our toe out and camber adjustment. And you can still see here with the cart on the angle and the snipers spirit level zeroed between the lines that the camber and the cast toe out 
are exactly the same. So it doesn't seem to make a big difference if the cart's on an angle or if it's perfectly flat in your garage. So you can see from that demonstration that the spirit level of the snipers is just for the alignment of the snipers to each other so you can get an accurate reading on your wheel alignment. And it's not to do with the level of the go-kart. So I hope that answered all your questions and you find this video helpful. Please, if you did like the video, give us a thumbs up, turn on the notifications, hit the subscribe button. We really appreciate it. If you want to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, you can. We are at Power Republic. You can go to our amazing website, www.powerrepublic.com.au. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.